So we are looking forward to a future city. This is the faith of Abraham. It's estimated that Abraham traveled around 1,000 miles before he settled in the Promised Land. That's almost a two-week trip by foot. When he got there, God told Abraham to walk through the land in every direction. Imagine how excited he was when God reassured him, I will give this land to you and your family. Yet later in the New Testament, we're told that Abraham still looked forward to another city that was yet to come. In Hebrews 11, we read, By faith Abraham, when he was called, obeyed, and went out to a place he was going to receive as an inheritance. He went out not knowing where he was going. By faith he stayed as a foreigner in the land of promise, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, co-heirs of the same promise, for he was looking forward to the city that had foundations, and some translations have firm, permanent foundations. Why? Because the architect of that future city is God. Even though our foundations today, 2,000 plus years later, are made out of wood, cement, steel, they nonetheless remain weak, temporal, and fleeting just like the cloth of the tents of Abraham and his family. I think our respective ethnic and national identities are likewise momentary. They are short-lived. For the New Testament calls those who belong to Christ, the Israel of God, of the Spirit, and not of the flesh, meaning according to race, ethnicity. And that's Galatians 6, verse 16. So... What does that mean? Well, we are no longer foreigners and resident aliens, but citizens of that future city. The church is now, together with those Old Testament patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the prophets, the kings, we are now the holy nation of God. In John 18, Jesus says to the governor Pilate that his kingdom is not from any of the current world governments or nations. For if the kingdom of God were like them, says Jesus, his servants would have fought to free him from the Jews who were trying to arrest him. In Ephesians 2, Paul reminds us that before we become believers of Christ, we were alienated, also means estranged, from the commonwealth of Israel. And as a result, strangers to the covenants including, of course, the covenant God made with Abraham, the land promise. Paul says we were without hope, without God in the world, but now we are no longer people without a country because, says Paul, in Christ the Messiah Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. Hebrews 13 goes on to say that here on earth, we do not have a city that lasts forever, but we are looking for the city that we will have in the future. So through Jesus, let us always offer to God our sacrifice of praise coming from lips that speak his name. And let's not forget to do good always to others, to share with them, because such sacrifices please God.